Hello kiddos, how are y'all doing today? I hope you've had a delicious breakfast, a good night of rest, and you've given mommy and daddy a hug or a kiss, and you're off to a good day. Well, the last time in our last story, Noah and his family, well, the, the, ar- the flood had finished, and they had come off of the ark, and God gave them a special promise with a sign to remember to remind them that he would never flood the earth again that the promise was that he wouldn't flood the earth and the sign was the rainbow the beautiful rainbow which he made to work in science in our world when light goes through water a certain way it produces a rainbow doesn't have to be on a storm but that's the first rainbow there was and many times we see rainbows that way okay Now, verse 18, I'm in Genesis chapter 9. Now, the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. So these are the three sons of Noah and his wife. Uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, remember, there are no people on the earth. They have all died. There are only four men and four women. Four men and their wives, Noah and his three boys and their wives. There are only eight people. Verse 19 says, These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated. That means it was filled with people. Uh, So what that means is that you and I come from Noah. Okay, well, now we come from Adam, too, because Noah came from Adam. But we all come from Noah and one of his three sons. Now, let's do a little bit of um, how do you, review or a little bit of seeing the, the whole story, okay? First of all, God creates Adam and Eve. They have children. And slowly or quickly, the world gets full of people. And many years later, the world is full of wicked people. Everybody has gone after his sinful way after because Adam and Eve sinned. And so the world is so wicked that God says, I am going to destroy every single person that is, who has ever been born. And in the, in the animals as well. But then he found one man who had a good family, and that man was godly, and his name was Noah. And he had three sons. And so then the, had the, the flood came, and in the ark were those eight people who we've mentioned a lot of, many times. So they come out of the flood. There is nobody on the earth. There is not a single neighbor. There are no towns, no cities, nothing. They came out into a brand new, sort of a a brand new world, and they began to have children, and that was what God wanted them to do, was to have children and become, uh, and and fill the earth again, okay? With, and, 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 and notice that the earth is starting off with good people, people who love God, okay? Does that mean that from then on, no problems, no more sin, because good people have started? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, The next verse says, And Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. And so, that's as far as we're going to go with this part of the story. So the the flood is over. Noah and his family get out of of the ark, all of the families, and they go into the new world, or at least I guess you could say the cleaned up world, and they begin to have families, children, and... Noah becomes a farmer, and that's where we'll leave it for now, and next time we will start with a, another section of story. Okay, goodbye, love you.